you know what? I just had the most random, most crazy, most out there idea in the world. How about a random room tour for no reason? Yeah. Entrance to the lair. There is some artworks. Sort of like those artworks are there to represent, you know, it's going to get a little bit crazy on the other side, a little bit depraved, a little bit animalistic. Well, not really. Okay. And first thing you'll notice is orange. Lots and lots of orange. Because, you know, the way I figure, you know, if SpongeBob can live inside a pineapple, why can't I? Let's close the door. Alright. So I'm not going to show everything, just like little things I think are interesting. A little Japanese drawing I bought, and it cost about 10 bucks. Um, sculpture dad gave me for Christmas. My, da my dad is a little bit of an artiste. Some sort of random sort of drawings I've done. Just characters I sort of just generate out of my own brain. Just like, these bigger ones actually are main characters. But yeah, these little ones are sort of just random ones I do. Like, um... Uh, sort of like tiki sort of robots and stuff like that yeah and this main character is actually my favorite he's like an oasis with legs he can like spit water see that's in there and on top of him is my other character who's a pelican all right enough of the artwork poster time um spongebob squarepants movie which is you know mm -mm. dragon quest 5 which is the ps2 cover from japan i mean it's not epic or anything. And then Dragon Quest VIII, which is on the PS2, which is the, you know, one of my favorite games pretty much ever made. My dad's sculpture, ah, uh, sculpture, um, poster he did of, um, sort of like Joker cards with, like, faces of artists on them from the Dada movement, see? da 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 Uh, GameCube posters. So, yeah, you know, just a whole wall of random crap. Sort of my, my one of my features in my room is the random crap wall. But it doesn't end here, there's like a little secret. Little bit of a secret in here. Whoa, John C. Riley's caveman head. All right, <laughs> sorry John C. Riley. All right, here's my um, little shrine. You can see lots and lots of little things like Bionicles, you know, like Mega Man, Dr. Mario, uh, some McDonald's toys. They're really cool, these ones, like little Game & Watch things. Uh, DS box. There's the DS there, because I have two DS's. Not two DS, but two DS's. Um, Chinese tea box I bought when I was in the city. Yeah, it's not mystical at all. And there's my Beijing 2008 um, pen, the Beijing Olympics. So we go down. This, this is like sort of like one of the other main features in my room. There's like the massive collection of video games. And I've essentialized it down to exactly what I want and like to my favorite consoles. Super Nintendo, which I have to buy more of, but, you know, if you know anything about Super Nintendo games, PAL region really got dicked over a lot with releases. Um, GameCube, I would say my favorite console of all time, just personally. PlayStation 2, awesome, just like, a bajillion games for it. What have I got on the top there? I've got Icon Shadow of the Colossus. Mm-mm. Nintendo 64, you can tell what those ones are. You can tell what those ones are. Actually, no, you can't tell what the black one is. It's Churok 2. A game that's just kind of okay. Uh, Wii games. You're gonna have Wii games. Is uh, Wii Fit and stuff. Which I, you know, believe it or not, Wii Fit is actually a really good game. So I won't take too much time looking at the games. For your NES, tons of them. Sort of have to stack them like that. And then a very slim sort of PlayStation 1 collection, which I want to get more of. Alright. Oh yeah, and Guitar Hero. Alright. Oh yeah, and up the top. DS games, 3DS, a few boxes for games. Like so the Halo, The Sims. Uh, an old lunchbox I bought for no reason. Alright, there's a shit ton of DVDs. They kind of go all the way up. And a shit ton of CDs. And then there's a CD player I painted. It's pretty, pretty nice. Um, Seinfeld box set. Looks like it has spunk on it, but it's not spunk. Um, what's in here? Oh yeah, just random like drawings I did when I was younger. And, oh yeah, and like Tarzos from um, Crash Bandicoot. Tarzos from uh, Chip Packets. These ones. Yeah, they're really good. They're like pretty much my favorite. So Tarzos of all time. So I'll just show you some things on the wall. I got 
Shakyamuni Buddha. I got some uh, sort of masks. This is a big painting I did of um, sort of like it's see there's like some of my main characters again that I showed you on the wall, and that's sort of um, in a giant underwater temple battle, and there's like sort of these three mirrors that are showing three different versions of the heroes that are standing here. So it's like meant to be a bit of a sort of a spiritual kind of thing. But yeah, I, th I like this. This is one of my favorite paintings I've ever done. That's why I put it up. There's an unmade bed. A few plush toys over there. Just relaxing. There's Jin Ban Yan crushed under the pillow from Yokai Watch. Um, yeah. And then a slime from Dragon Quest, which is really cool. I gotta say, it's like the coolest character design. It's so simple, but so distinctive. Um, there's my hat, there's a few badges. A uh, little island head sort of thing I put up, I got for Christmas. Now this is a shelf I really like, some of my favorite toys. I got like, Attack and the Power of Juju McDonald's toys. For some reason I never got around to getting these when I was younger, but I found them, you know, on eBay and they're just incredible. I got a Sora that I got probably about 10 or 11 years ago at Supernova. Um, Bionicle, yeah. Mm mm. Some Kuro Gunzo stuff. There's Kuro Gunzo down there actually. There's a metal slime. <laughs> there's, lots, there's so many things to show, it's like almost impossible. Then I got Mario Kart ones. These are actually ones I did have when I was younger. So yeah, we'll just keep moving around. Tuk Tuk. Spirited away. Uh, the calendar I got given. There's a dog's anatomy. It looks like a dog's digestive tract with a little Chinese calendar on it. Yeah, uh, it doesn't make sense, but you know, it's something kind of whimsical about it. And there's two little thing, tong 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 tong. There's a mask, sort of just a, it's actually from 1929, believe it or not. <coughs> yeah, so it's like probably the oldest thing in my room. A lot of people tend to find it scary, but you know, I don't really find it scary. It usually just watches me when I'm on the computer. These eyes are even looking down. Um, yeah, so here's some more toys, and I swear I'm not Andy from the 40-year-old virgin, um, <laughs> there's, uh, you know, Orient Express, which is this Lego thing I really like, so if you look behind here, there's a Yeti, very good. Here's the top of my TV, again, just tons and tons of toys, this Sonic toy I've had since probably I was about 10, Monkey Ball, McDonald's sort of Game & Watch thing little Pokemon um, game watch thing I got with Pokemon Heart Gold as Kid Goku because, you know, in my opinion I don't mind Dragon Ball Z let's call it Dragon Ball Z but I don't know, there's just something about the original one with Kid Goku that's just a lot better in my opinion alright, there's some um, Spirit Away toys cords sort of an island head so I got like a lot of tropical things in here yeah, a little Gundam toy I got, uh, um, built the other day. Some, like, crappy little things I got in Chinatown, but, you know, they're kind of nice. I don't know, there's something, like, I mean, the turtle with the pineapple was really what sold me. Little Jade Buddha, Moroccan sort of heads my parents got when they went on holidays in Morocco in about, I think it was like 91 or 2. Yeah. Alright, uh, DS. This is my second DS. Really good, I'm currently playing Kingdom Hearts on it. Alright, so now just for the video game stuff, I'm just going to go from left to right. So there's Nintendo 64, and we've got F-Zero, I've been playing F-Zero um, X. Now we've got the GameCube. I'm currently playing uh, Mario Sunshine on this one. Yeah, GameCube. This is still the same GameCube I had that I got for Christmas in 2003, which is pretty extraordinary that it's lasting that long. So we've got uh, PlayStation 2, sort of one game on top that's not very good, one game in the middle that's great, and one game on the bottom that's great. On the Super Nintendo I'm playing, you know, obviously Link to the Past, you can see there, and I got Mega Man X. What am I playing on the Wii? I'm playing um, Warrior Land and Wii Play. Then I got a little PlayStation. You know what? I actually prefer this model, and I've heard it's actually a lot more reliable having an original, um, than having an original PlayStation 1. Yeah, I got Medieval and 40 Winks. That's right, not the mattress shop, but some sort of game that's kind of okay. I just bought it because it looked interesting, but it's a little bit boring, if I'm being honest. Um, my NES isn't here at the moment, actually. It's currently, um, 
been rented out to some sort of museum for like, I don't know, they want to like display it or something. So, you know, and I haven't seen it for about a month. Oh, not a month, like three months. I'm hoping I get it back soon. Uh, and then just control it. Turkish rug. That's pretty much it. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, one last thing. What? And for the last feature, pretty much my most important possession I own, uh, my TV, which I've had for, I would say, 20 years probably. 20 years, just, or maybe just a little bit under. But yeah, um, also I'll show some stickers on it. You know, you got Dragon Quest, you got, you know, a little Sonic coin from Sega World, which is like an old theme park that used to be in Australia. Uh, yeah, Pokemon, da da da, some gecko. But yeah, this TV is very precious to me. But yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it. So, oh, one last thing, under my bed. Hi. Wow, what's that doing under there? Bye, Boo. Bye, Puchana. Thank <laughs> you.